What's up guys, back with a new uh, movie review, this time it's going to be Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm here with Avery, who's been in the last few reviews. Um, now this isn't going to be a spoiler review, we had already done one that we did spoilers and we decided not to do a spoiler review, so we're redoing it now. Um, so overall the movie was fantastic, I would have to say in my opinion. Um, what do you think? Same. I thought it was a really, really good movie, and I mean, there's a lot of things we both agreed on for the film. Um, so the cast was fantastic. Tom Holland was a very interesting Peter Parker. Definitely did well to the comic origins of Peter Parker, I would say. Um, he also had Michael Keaton as Vulture, which was definitely interesting. Um, did a great job. I mean, it wasn't... It was the vulture that, if you've read the comics, you'd think, but he did, he made it his own, um, which was very well done. <coughs> um, I mean, overall, I mean, all the people were pretty well cast. I mean, you had the love interest, who was played by Laura Harrier, I think, as Liz, his puppy dog crush, I guess. Yeah. Um, which is who everyone thought was going to be Mary Jane when the movie first was aired, which, I mean, it's not, obviously, yeah. but... Um, then you got Marissa Torea's May Parker, which I'm still kind of iffy about because she looks like she's four. <laughs> like she's way four? too <laughs> she's way too young <laughs> to be May Parker. I'm just saying. Um, like I think she's I think she's actually in like her forties. I'd say how old is she? Yeah, but I mean, she's fifty two. So I guess that's, she's pretty impressive. Fifty two. Yeah, saying. I was about to say her um, age is. Pretty spot on. But, I mean, I get why they did it. I mean, he's supposed to be 15 in this, so, I mean, obviously she wouldn't be 80 like she was in the Tobey Maguire movie. Yeah. Um, so it makes sense. And they also dressed her up to look younger, or look older. Yeah. With the pants above the waist and all that. Um, I mean, what do you want to talk about? Um, I just, they made it work uh, because most of uh, Marvel's villains is usually end of the world type stuff, and for this movie, it was kind of like, I mean, it wasn't anything end of the world. It was just what was affecting his city, Queens. Uh, Queens. Yeah. And so that was really cool. That they, he was the friendly neighborhood spider. Yes. Yeah. And they, they kept to that. Yeah, they kept him on um, the ground. ground. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, the, the only thing that kind of got on my nerves, which, I mean, made sense the way they're doing it, is how he kept being up Tony Stark's ass the whole movie. Like, I mean, that's the whole gist of this thing, is he's wanting to be part of the Avengers. It's all he's excited about. Which, I mean, I understand it, like, it makes sense. It just kind of got annoying at the first of it, where he kept texting uh, Happy, which Happy's in this, which, I mean, this is in the trailer also. <coughs> um, that kind of got annoying. Yeah, um, but, I mean, if you were, like, a 15-year-old well, I mean, working with the Avengers and Iron Man, I, yeah, would, I, mean, I, I would want to drop out of school and just do that full-time. I mean, yeah, I would, too. It's just kind of, <laughs> like, it's just one of those pet peeves, and I didn't like yeah. that. Yeah, I got you. Um... But yeah, so I mean, he sticks to Queens the entire movie. Um, he's also, you also realize that he's not well controlled with his power ship. Yeah. I mean, he just became Spider-Man. I, mean, I don't know how long what the difference is between this and Civil War, but in Civil War he's Spider-Man for six months. Uh, this was only uh, two months after. Right, so, so eight months. He's eight been, months. He's had the power, so he's still learning how to control him, still learning how to web sling and, you know, how to fight and all that stuff. Um, it's also, it was also very funny because they actually show the crappy part of using the web sling when there's no nothing to grab. Yeah. Because when he's in the party, he's yeah. having to run across a yard because there's no trees or any buildings because he's in the suburbs. Um, yeah, he can't just conven conveniently yeah. just swing anywhere he wants to. So, I mean, that, that was yeah. neat, you know, seeing, well, he can't always, you know, web sling back and forth. Um, and uh, Tony Stark obviously was in this. Not it too much, which I liked. Yeah. yeah I didn't. Like, I was kind of worried that he was going to be in it the entire movie, and it'd be Tony Stark and Spider-Man, but just a few scenes that he was in. Um, it was a cameo, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah. Um, but yeah, so Tony Stark did well. Um, Tom Holland obviously did a good job. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed Ned, the best friend, sidekick, whatever you want to call it. He was really funny. Um, was definitely the comedic relief in this movie. Um, and like I said, Tom Holland nailed Peter Parker and Spider-Man, um, which no one's done yet. Everyone's either had, like you had, Tony McGuire was really good at Spider-Man, or was really good at uh, Peter Parker, but kind of weird Spider-Man. 
Yeah. And then vice versa for Tony McGuire, he was really good as Spider Man, but he was he was way too cool. Yeah. As Peter Parker, like he was yeah. a skateboarder, you know, looked like he'd be a model, but he was yeah. this nerdy, awkward teenager. Yeah. But Tom Holland definitely nailed, you know, the awkwardness and having learning how to deal with being a superhero and going to high school at the same time. And plus, you respect the <coughs> fact that he wore the mask a lot. Yeah. That was, I mean, he wore it a lot more than what I thought. I mean, most Marvel movies, they somehow find a way just to take off the mask on any chance they get. But he kept it on for most yeah. of the movie. Pretty much, I mean. Um, and there wasn't as much action in this movie either as I expected. It was more, like I said, him dealing with his day-to-day -day life as Spider-Man, but also having to be Peter yeah. Park at the same time. So that was interesting, you know, that it wasn't all action-packed, you know, big CGI the entire movie. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you got Michael Keaton's Vulture, which was, I, I think, amazing. Yeah, he was um, such a good villain. Well, I mean, the thing about him that I think people's going to like is that he's not an alien from outer space that you don't understand. Yeah. Like, he's a guy that lives in Queens, some bad things, I mean, I'm not going to say anything, but some bad things happen to him and he realizes he has to do this to support his family. Yeah. You know, something that, I mean, I say a lot of people would do if it came down to that. If they knew how, you know, if it was save your family, you have to do this. A lot of people's gonna do that. So a lot of people's gonna feel more for this villain and actually care more about him than you know, like Loki and Ultra and all these just alien yeah. type beings that just doing it to do it really. You know, yeah, he was more understandable. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like I said, it wasn't the original Vulture. They definitely made it his own. And I really did think they made him look really cool because I remember him from you know the animated series and from comics and I, he his suit was really cool in this yeah well, I mean there was on the comic books he was an older guy didn't have any mask on or anything he had the weird I mean it looked like he had actual feathers in a costume plus I mean the suit they had in the movie like yeah, you'd I mean, definitely be uh, <laughs> scared if he came yeah, I mean, for you I mean basically the suit in the movie is a like military aircraft helmet with a bomber jacket, yeah, which also makes sense in the situation because the helmet he uses yeah. for night vision, and then I would assume the jacket's supposed to be because how fast he's going in air, it's to yeah. keep him you know warm and everything. So it all makes complete sense. It's all stuff that you can go pick up if you really needed to. If you're in that, you know, I mean, maybe not a store, but you can find all that much stuff to make that costume. Um, so it all makes sense. You know, he can go get all that stuff in Queens or wherever. Yeah. Um, but you had him. You had Shocker. Which I'm not gonna get much into that, but wasn't that big of a deal in this movie? Yeah, um, um, he was a very he was a minor. <coughs> minor yeah. Um, but I'm, like, so I'm not gonna talk about that to ruin anything. Um, he had the Tinkerer. Yeah. Yeah, Tinkerer um, was in it. Which is who um who helps make this you know the wings and everything like that. Um, who else was in it? I think that's the only villains really besides just like the henchmen. Well, I mean there was. Donald Glover's character. Right? Yeah, Donald Glover was in it, which I'm not going to talk about because it'll ruin some parts of the movie, but yeah. definitely very interesting, a very good Easter egg that they laid in there for you. Actually, two, really, that involves him. Um, but, so, like, you just have to watch that see that part. Yeah. Um, he was kind of like a criminal, I guess, in a way, but he's more like a low, like a street thug. Nothing like, as far as the vulture was going. Um, there's a lot of Easter eggs in the movies, or in the movie... Yes. Leading towards, I'm assuming, Infinity Wars, some of the other movies, um, possibly Thor Ragnarok, stuff like that. Um, and most of them are easy, pr pretty easy to tell, honestly. Like, yeah. You know, it's not one of those you're not going to get it. There was only, like, what, one, I guess, that we didn't notice? There was, I mean, I guess there's three, well, yeah, there's one that we didn't notice. Um, there's three that, if you don't read the comics, they're kind of hard to follow. Yeah. So, um. Like I said, amazing cast. Let's see, anyone else talk about? There's Flash. Flash Thompson was in it. Which Wish they did an interesting take on him. It, well, the take makes sense. Like, if everyone's seen the trailer, he's the the Indian race, I guess, Indian, maybe Hispanic. Hispanic, I don't know what he is. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Tony Rivero. Um, it wasn't the usual jock bully. Yeah. He was the brainy, spoiled rich kid. Yeah. Um, which makes sense nowadays. You know, nowadays it's not just the big jocks that bully kids, it's anyone that bully people, whether it's on the internet or in person or whatever. Um, he was on the same academic decathlon with Peter Parker, so he bullied him all the time, made fun of him, stuff like that. Um, 
So it kind of sucked because you won't see the Flash Thompson as Venom. Um, yeah. But it, it it made sense and it was fine. Like I understood why they did it. Um, of course, you got the Stanley cameo. Yeah, Stanley. That was that was a pretty good cameo. Uh, which is pretty early on, actually. I think it's within the first like twenty minutes of the movie, yeah. maybe. Um, so there's that, <coughs> which is pretty good because I'm assuming we probably won't see him in two more cameos. I mean, with, yeah. his, with his age, I, I don't think we're going to see him much more after maybe Thor, as far as a cameo goes. Um, I mean, I hope he does definitely get a cameo in Infinity War, because that's yeah, I mean, yeah, filming I mean, right now. So We'll see. Um, yeah. And then you got, what was her name? Zendaya? Yeah, played Zendaya. Michelle. Which was, she was really funny, actually. Yeah. Was, <laughs> she, I really don't know how to describe her character. Like, she was on that academic decathlon with them, and she was kind of friends with Peter Parker. But I, re I really don't know what to say about her comedy. Like, it was... Well, it was like, she was... She was friends with them, but she was kind of like one of those, like, emo types. Yeah, that, I guess. Like, she only um, says maybe five words, really, it seems like, in this movie. Yeah. Like, she just randomly comes in out of nowhere and just says this one thing was kind of break the ice with any situation. Um, but she just always finds a way to pop up <laughs> in the most random yeah. spots. Like, yeah. she's following <laughs> uh, so, Peter. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of leading like she has a crush on him. Yeah. Uh, which, I mean, they don't say that in the movie if they do or not, but that's kind of what it's leading to is she has yeah. that awkward crush. Yeah. Um, which might lead into something else, who knows. Um, but I mean, that's really about it, I think, without uh, going any spoilers. Ned's character was yeah, he phenomenal. Was, yeah, that he was, was pretty funny. Cool. <laughs> um, <coughs> he was definitely very interesting. I mean, he reacted the way anyone would if they found out their best, best friends. friends. Yeah. yeah, that would be... I mean, most likely. I mean, I would have probably told everybody already, but whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was funny. Like I said, I mean, it, it had a lot of comedy in it, which it needs to be, you know, a Spider-Man movie or a correct Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Because um, like I said, Tom Holland was hilarious as Spider-Man. He talked shit the entire time he's fighting people. Yeah. Um, you got the guy who plays Ned, which... Let's see, what is, what is his name? Uh, Jacob... Jacob Batalon? Batalon, yeah. I guess? Talon. Um, and like I said, the Zen Zendaya girl was pretty funny. Um, and I mean, even Tony Stark had a couple funny lines. Yeah. Because, I mean, he was being the awkward mentor, which he can't do very well. But he's trying, I guess. Um, but, so yeah, I mean, great cast. Yeah. I mean, action scenes were very well shot. And then, I mean, they kind of combined, like, a teenage drama movie with a superhero movie, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, it is, a lot of this movie is in high school. We're dealing with high school problems, like high school parties and dances and all that stuff and crushes. Um, the action scenes, like I said, were all shot there and they were all very localized, which was good. Um, I mean, he never, he only leaves Queens really once yeah. in the movie, so, which was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that was. Um, any other thoughts? Um, it's definitely going to be uh, cool to see what they do with the uh, sequel. Um, because just from what I've heard from, um, you know, them interviewing Kevin Faye, supposed to, uh, actually pick up, supposedly, like, a few minutes after Infinity War. That's what they we'll said, see. so that's, I'm interested to see what happens in the sequel, definitely. Yeah, we'll see. But, uh, what do you guys say, you know, Joss watched Watts, yeah, is the director, you know, I was gonna go ahead and say, he's did a great job, phenomenal job at directing it, I mean, I'm hoping he sticks with the rest of them. Yeah, their writing goes. team was solid for the yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah, really good writing team. Um, so, I mean, overall, it's a great movie. Really no big, huge complaints. A couple things yeah. here and there, but nothing that really ruined, you know, the movie for me. Um, but, I mean, that's really it, i got to say about it. So, I mean, what's, what, do you, what are you going to give it? What do you think? Uh, 9 out of 10. You give it 9 out of 10? Yep. Uh, I mean, I was thinking that last night. I'm still kind of pondering on it. Like I said, there's a couple little things here and there I don't like. Just random things. So, but they're little. Yeah, so I'm kind of going between an 8 or a 9. Um, I mean, like I said, Tom Holland was great. Everyone was really great. So, I mean, I, I guess I'll go with a 9. I mean, it's it's more like an 8.8. 8. So I'll round that up to a 9. Yeah. Um, great casting, great music. Um, I don't know if you realize, did you realize the, in the opening for the Marvel thing was the Spider-Man? Yeah, see, that's <laughs> that's what I, I, I gave it almost a a little bit extra just for doing that because that's really yeah cool. like when the for Marvel when the thing. Marvel opens up whenever you know every single Marvel movie they get the new theme now well this one they played like the 
I don't know which version of Spider-Man it was, but one of the theme songs. It was um, like the original. I mean, maybe I don't remember. No. But they played one of the, the theme songs during the movie. Um, so so he's got an eight or a nine. I'm gonna go with a nine. Like I said, a couple complaints, but nothing too major. Yeah. Um, but I mean that's it. Like I said, just go watch it, guys. You know. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.